Hi, thanks for joining me today. My name is Chuck Tuck, and I'm with Aver. Today, we're going to take a look at the Aver F17 Plus document camera. We will take a look at the face of the camera, and then also the connections on the side and on what I'll call the back of the camera. So if you're ready, let's get right into it. Okay, so here is the face. And of course, we have the power button, the camera PC button, which is going to be very important. And I'm going to talk about that in just a little bit when we get to the connections. Then we have our lamp button, and that's going to be, of course, to turn on the LED light on the document camera itself. Then we have the freeze and pause or stop button. And then we also have our autofocus. Our, um, for our LED lights, we have our plus and minus to make it uh, brighter and less bright. We have our menu button for the on-screen display, a recording button, capture and delete. That's going to be for the still images and to play them back. But again, this is just to go over the buttons here real quick, as we did, and then the connections. So let's go ahead and take a look at the connections. And remember, this camera PC button here is going to play a very important role in our connections. Okay, so as you can see, on one side of the F17 Plus document camera, you have a slot for an SD card. Now, this SD card is going to be used to capture your video or the uh, still images. And this has to be a FAT32 maximum size of 32 gigabytes. So keep that in mind. And here we have our RGB or to be a VGA in and output. So this is really great because if you're using some of the older technologies, some of the analog technologies, maybe it's your projector. You still can use this document camera with your projector. So again, you have an in and an out for your VGA. Of course, this is going to be your power here. And then we have the USB-C, and this is going to connect to your desktop or laptop computer. This is going to allow you to use this document camera with software. As an example, the AverTouch software. And it's also going to allow you to do uh, streaming. And when I say streaming, it means that you can use this with Zoom or Teams or Meets or anything like that. So as long as anything recognizes a webcam, it'll recognize this document camera. Then we also have our USB thumb drive. Uh, this, once again, has to be a FAT32. This can be a maximum size of 64 gigabytes and it will be used to capture uh, video and images. Then we also have a microphone input and a speaker out. So if you want to connect a microphone and record, this will get a really good sound. This also has a built-in microphone, so you don't have to have a separate microphone to record your audio. And of course, when you're doing playback, if you want to use external speakers so you can hear it, right here you have your speaker output. Now in the beginning when I mentioned that the buttons on the front, the camera PC will play an important role right here with your HDMI in and out. So as an example, if you have only a single HDMI input that could be used on a monitor or a projector, but you have multiple HDMI devices and maybe even another document camera or some other HDMI uh, device. You could plug it into the in and then go from the output of this document camera to your projector or to your display. What this will allow you to do is that you can use that camera PC button to toggle between the F17 Plus and whatever other device that you have plugged in to the F17. So in other words, it's going to work as a pass-through. So as an example, if I have another document camera set up someplace else in the classroom and I want to use both of them because I have my F17 at one desk and then I have another Aver document camera on another desk. I can use that camera PC button to toggle between the two different document cameras. And if you have a device such as a DVD player and you have it connected through here, you don't even have to have the F17 turned on. It just has to be plugged in and then it's going to pass through and go to your uh, projector or to your display. So again, this is really nice to have. So the F17 Plus really works as a document camera for 
yesterday, today, and for the future. So hopefully this helps you out as far as understanding where the connections are and what the connections can do for you. Remember, 64 gigabytes, maximum size for your thumb drive or USB on the side, and the SD card on the other side is maximum size of 32 gigabytes, and that will be used for capturing video or still images. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.